Welcome to July 16th edition of Sports on the Afternoons as we are playing Men NFL 17. Uh, you get time fly so much you don't even sometimes think next month 18 comes out. I'm like, shit. Oh, really, 18 comes out in a month. A little over a month now. Um, not sure I'll be able to get it when it comes out because I got so many other games I got to pre order it. They were just putting money on and they were there to worry about first. is I, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have the money you know, I will see I mean I, I, I if a horse going horse will just get to play enough Nice actually for the you know, and that was about the teams of games with nice and don't come up recognizing it. Why? Maintain this. Um nice work by the I also like the f that they finally left up the three community. They were allowed to stream the three community instead of just the one now. Oh, that's a bridge. So I forget. Do you know? <laughs> anything even else? Uh, still in there. Surprise. Let's play the Eagles. Wait a moment. I should take it. I finished up the season today. And you know it's going to be entertaining. It's the Giants going up against the Eagles. With that, let's hand it over to Brandon Dodd and Travis Davis. They've got the call up this week's 12 matchup. Okay, Larry, thank you. We are just off I-95 at the home of the Eagles, Lincoln Financial Field on the south side of Philadelphia. Today, it's week 12 of the NFL season, and we've got a good one in store between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. 
is a 36 and one. That could very good. You look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking Charles to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they. Excellent look, there's no 18 speed ahead of time. So very early on in this game, first quarter, no score, and this offense hoping to change that right here and get some points on the board. He came down with the ball. What are they fucking looking at? Should be overturned that that was a touchdown. Of course they're not gonna fucking call that fucking the right way. That was a fucking touchdown. That was a touchdown. That was bullshit. He caught the ball. His both feet were in bounds. What the fuck is this this game call the calling? So I looked it up. Got that ball. Both feet were. That was not even close to being out of bounds. I don't know what the fuck this game was smoking. He came in. Both feet were down. Caught the ball. That was a touchdown. So why was that not a touchdown? Cause yeah, I didn't like the fact that I went from fourth down as a fucking field goal. Sorry, game. It doesn't work that way. You have to call it right. If the fucking rules, the NFL says it's a touchdown. It's a fucking touchdown, and it was a touchdown. Giants are gonna take a first quarter lead. Why does he look upset? A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. Defense thinking pass, they've got the nickel set out on the happy. Now wins on third down. And a third down pass falls incomplete. Kendall Wright, the intended target. And for Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone, second and five. One receiver left, three to the right. Now Manning throwing on second down over the middle of the back end, and he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Yeah. Beckham with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And they run out of time. And he picks up the first before he's taken down. He just needs two yards and is able to get it. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Here's Vereen. Bullshit. No game there, and it leads to a fourth down. Bullshit, bullshit. Of a minute here remaining in the first half, so the clock is becoming a factor. 
The offense has the football on their own side of the field. And New York set to take the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Most tempting to try to add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And now they're in the hurry up. They go again with Oliver. And he's got some space here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Giants. Brandon Oliver with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest holds for the third most. We drop you into the action. It's second down, second and five inside the red zone. Manning the throw on second down. It's incomplete. Come on. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and it's third and five. will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. They can pass all the way. It's called Shepard. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven. Yeah. And fits the exact right word. Need to get in the end zone, but this is good enough for the first down, though. You're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate catch it and even add a little extra at the end with a short run and the eighth play on this drive coming up now manning again and he can't hang on oh bull crap incomplete in the end zone this could very well be four down territory but right now we focus on third and goal from the one what the fuck? I'm third one. I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. A field goal would make it a two score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Manning indeed going for it on four. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Left yeah. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. That worked out. Offense, they have a chance to do that on third down. They run, it's Oliver. Oh, a heck of a move. Yeah. And he will take it on in for a giant. Touchdown! Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his 28. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. And maybe expecting a throw. Manning now to throw. And this is Pass interference. Way too much contact, way too soon. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Manning going to try and throw on third down. That is caught at the seven. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's a sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been... Fat lady has sung and...
Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you still think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Giants, the perfect season remains intact as they move to 11-0 on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they drop their seventh game on the year. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Houston Texans. At that loss at the... Uh... Eagles struggle and struggle to even finish if I remember to turn this season. Doesn't matter the game, they will not finish if I remember if I remember because of that one day. So I guarantee them they will finish at least if I remember. Can't finish above if I remember. And that can't finish above if I remember because. In fact, they have instead of tie on their record, that means they can't. Can't finish eight and eight. As a tie, at least they would have they would have the chance to at least be as ten. If he ain't dead there now. Oh, I, I, I can't afford to lose on a game in the if I remember it. Is we always keep training. How did I? How did I tie that thing? Somebody is. I'm always somebody has been uh, sort of a, didn't like ties. I always thought they were like the dumbest thing. It's I never liked the fact that they uh, the, that they keep that rule. I like the fact that the, you don't see that in. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we should have a fun one on our hands. It's the Giants coming in at 11-0, going up against the Buccaneers, who come in at 4-7. With that, uh, I would like that, uh, like the I was like how the college has been known in the last few years that they, they have, uh, every time they'll, they'll win the way that I like I don't know if that would work in the NFL, but it's better that the, Alongside my partner Charles Davis. I, I just don't like the fact that it's like ties always suck, so it's like you have this continues, does it? They come in here a perfect eleven and oh on the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks. They were losers their last time out. They're gonna try to get back in the win Died they're like kissing your sister. <laughs> the situation ball in the red zone it's yeah. second down and the defense needing to step up <laughs> hey, 
Maybe not, but you know, it's just, it's on second down, Martin. Come on, pull the crap. It's a seven yard game there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down. Run, and at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. And the seemingly holding offense. Play Nikki, dude. They go play action here on first down. Rush coming in, he's taken down. Jason Pierre Paul in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. That's a big sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red. 12 yard loss that puts them from being, you know, first and goal, close to the goal line to being back at the. We're in the 20. They were. Oh, uh, the still are close enough. You know what I saw him doing? Like 15, 16 backflips in a row on a YouTube video. It's intercepted. Nobody close. All the way into the end zone. Talk about talk about your way to turn from looking like the like the drivers gonna go gonna go bad the one way and ends up going good good the other way for the Giants. Oh, it's like sorry. And it cost him six points. I think the quarterback was the closest guy after the after the uh, caught that ball. So they just got the ball off the interception. Now can this offense take advantage? Great field position, first and ten in the red zone. And here comes the Giants' offense back out onto the field and a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out in all extra emotion. So now they get a chance to get back. Earth and goal, baby. Now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves out that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you don't make any mistakes either. Off you go. They run it here. And this is going to result. Ag. They're driven back to the eight yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. And now it's second and goal. A beautiful fake. And he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown number 29. Too short of Ladanian Tomlinson's all-time record, 31. Oh, that was a long time uh, moment. It's strange. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? And Charles, a couple extra defensive backs in here on third and one. Not expecting them to run it at all. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. Manning to throw on third and one. Come on. What a crap. Really good. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. 
This to make it a two-score game. Kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So a big one. I keep forgetting when that you can, uh, in a tight game in the you know, uh, Let's see if they can get that stop they need. He goes back to key moments. To throw is oh, bull crap. What the fuck? He's on Andre the Giant. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out. Defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. So now at third and 12 with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. On third down, Winston. And that is incomplete. And he's trying to get it to Doug Martin. And it's fourth down. It appears that the front. Winding down. This is going to be a huge drive. Let's see what the offense can do back out onto the field. Now out come the Giants. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. Fucking bullshit. They have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. Cruz has it over the middle. And they yeah. Down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Score late in the fourth. Let's see if the defense can play within themselves, not give up the big play and contain, and keep this knotted up. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Manning now on first down. What the fuck was that? Shot couldn't connect. <laughs> he decided to run all the exact opposite way he was supposed to be running. Supposed to be running. I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go deep downfield to him, though. Such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. But he almost intercepted it. Well, crap. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now a first carry here for Shane Breen. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The 13 yards that time and a first. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a carry for Oliver. Look at the spin. A second spin. Turning and turning and turning. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. 26 yards on the pickup there. And it'll be first down Giants. 
not a lot of dance steps in that run. That's much more like being that bowling ball, just going down and scattering some pins, breaking through contact, breaking through tackles, and he knows how to finish a run. in search of six yards. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And this the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. That'll move them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. They'll run. It's Vereen. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And play a stop here. It's the first down again with the team game. It is a first down. It'll be their first down. Final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Tie game, fourth quarter. And that's the first down. Again, that's a, that's a first down. They'll try to run for it with Oliver. The tackle and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. One of the hallmarks of their success this year, they've been fearless on fourth down, and they convert another one right here to move the chains. Operating inside the 10 at the 8 here. It's first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Cut down. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10 yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone. And that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field. Congratulations to them. So for the Giants, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Eagles will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. And, and they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they... I can only help the fish at 400. If I remember that, I need to take more That's the best record. They can win the final four games.
Time for Eek to pay the Eagles. Time for Eek. Come on. Unless you don't like it, or any do like, like. Yeah. I said now they could do this. This is gonna be a scary first. Gonna miss us. Okay, I got you every, every time. I beat him two weeks ago by 30 points. I find some, I find a fun, you know, that took up like my life. I find some, I find it funny some people freaking out about the people back there. And the doctor would be freaking out, freaking out, like, really? It's like, why is it matter? It's so it's good. I don't know, you can complain about MJ and, and then it's by I'm like, she's not a very interesting character, there's nothing like... Is this supposed to be the first thing I get Mary Jane in this version? It should not be a good thing! She said, wasn't even a very interesting character in the movie? It's like, such a bland, annoying little annoyance every time they get on screen, like... Oh, it's every day of the game on screen. It's literally, literally just hard to, to, to appear on screen to be annoying. It's not a good character. It's, this is not, like, sorry, we're waiting for, we ain't, she's too much. Deleted out of any Spider-Man that we haven't seen her in the Spider-Man already in the movies. And there's one really very team, and instead we're getting bland. And they Well, if if the female doctor is horrible and everything, you just say, yeah, it's a bad character. It's a bad decision. But how can you say this when the fuck? How can you say that when the you're not gonna the the series has been written? Nothing is. We know nothing about what's going to happen next season yet, because nothing is in the side is only yet. It's like, you're making judgments just based on the fact a actress has been out, this is female, the female actress has been out, and that's it. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down. A lot of, a lot of, an actress, a lot of people in America, probably not very familiar with. Still scoreless. I hate the Mario, I wish she was. Situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. They'll give it to him right off the gun. No, a nifty juke there. Now you know you, whether that she's going to be good or not. So pick up the first. against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Shields a... No. 
Come on. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy sometimes. Having to hang out all day and play. Bullshit! Fuck, stop dating! Too many guys in the field. Failure in them. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Looking at this situation, if you're at the one, the two, maybe you go for it. From here, you kick it. I agree. I think you have to get points in this situation. Fourth down, yeah. I don't chance it at all. I put the points on the board and go back and regroup. Now a handoff here to his running back. Oh, look at the juice. Bullshit! He got in. Fucking tear. Yeah. Fucking tearing. This defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And he'll give it here to his running back. What a spin. And he will take it in for a giant touchdown. Brandon Oliver becoming just the second player with three. And give this time to the no, again, too many guys on the field. Stop Forces this defensive unit to scramble to get back out there as now they get wait what? Um, it's my I, I um the uh, my team at the ball regular lane game. The turnover force. Team is going to put that the ball. You fucking here. Late second quarter drive oh, yeah. to break our tie. Let's see. They'll have to be pretty efficient with their time here. Watch the clock. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I'm here my old college coach right now. There's just a test before every game. The team making the fewest mistakes. Bull crap. Come on. Last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch it. Doesn't matter what it's off. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's able to get this one up to the 45 yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Manning. No! Bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Bull! Fucking shit! My guy would fucking have to be a ghost for that to work. The teaming game. You got caught teething. Coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Cut teething. Well faked. Definitely want to play coverage here. He finds back in complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Time to get back into the action. The football in the red zone for this offense. It's second down at six yards to go. They come up in an offset eye. Manning the throw on second down. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. The key coming up here preserved the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. They'll run here with Kareem. Oh, what a move. Yeah. The key 
coming up here. Preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. So here we go now. Extra defensive back in there on third and ten. They fake the give. Now wins. He's going to let this one go deep. Almost is. Close. My guy was close to catch that ball. And their receiver. They're going for a fourth down. Here they go. Uh oh. In a big spot here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59 yard attempt. And this kick. Not even close. Well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. That was a dumb move. This defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. That was a dumb, dumb decision. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Come on, bullcrap. He's not fucking able to get that high. What's he fucking? What's he fucking a giant? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to equal Matt Prater's record. It's a 64-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So there you go, partner. How about that? Oh, that was pretty cool. That will tie the all-time record set by Matt Prater of the Broncos back in 2013. And you know when Prater hit from 64? That was like breaking DiMaggio's streak. Or breaking the four minutes. Yeah. Tom Dempsey, 63. That was a legendary number. So to top that here, even if it just ties the record, pretty darn awesome. That's why I was just going for the, the play. That's the announcing. For this defense, fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. Wins to throw again. And he connects with Ertz. Oh, bull crap. Before he's taken down at the 36. It goes as a gain of eight. That's the interception. In a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Manning looking to throw on third and two. He's got cross complete. Three yards. That's the first down. in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. Manning to throw on third and one. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It's a game of three and it gets him to third. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. Manning the throw on second down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. That down, baby. in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on four hey he just scores they need to get now Wentz gotta have this one Can't. and this is intercepted and that should do it a great read and it's picked off and this one yeah to A 
big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defense... That was a flat so many predicted, but we did win. They will gratefully accept that, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Giants, the streak lives as they move to 13 and 0 now on the year, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they lose their ninth game on the year, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. He throws his interception, certainly. Texans, Elm um, Redskins, and the Cowboys division season. Texans, Elm um, Redskins, and the Cowboys. I think they were in Texas. Guys are in place to get the Alex. That's the Panthers. Lions and the Packers. Right there for top division. South gets Panthers. Falcons is barely throwing it. That is very clean. The Alex. Rand Spring is eliminated. They asked about the Woods last three games, and the Rams would have to win the last three games. I see North against the Ravens, the Browns right behind them. Got the Texans, Clint. He's got the Bulls and the Jets. Yeah, my. Right behind them. Alright, Clint. The West.
friends. Now I've been in New York, Texas, Midwest, and it all reminds me of California. Cause there's no place like California. California, A-A-T-L, M-I-A, D-M-V, all reminds me of California. Cause there's no place like California. California, a in fact, the Texans weren't the first team in the uh, in the Houston to play because the O's were the original NFL Houston team, and they was the Tennessee. Texans were expansion team. Fewest points allowed, and they'll be up against a Giants offense that wants to prove it can do some damage. Set for the call of this Week 15 matchup. Thanks, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas at NRG Stadium in Houston. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Off. Still earlier, does that look like you can change the speed of that? It's quite where it starts. First to go on a one. First and goal defense for the bats against the wall. And he's in for the score. Yeah. Season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown. defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play and they'll run him here red still churning like a giant pinball and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28 yard line Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Manning, he finds back up to play, and he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him. Wow. That's the second play that they've got the three at the one. Oh. Bull crap. That'll bring up second down. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it in the end zone. A big time drop. Ah. That time's a term. His seventeenth touchdown. And his defense in a little bit of a tight spot here. The ball is inside the red zone. Second down and six. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. 
himself another. I think the second tackle would have worked from the first. And he is into the end zone, and the touchdown record is now all his. And always a good Yeah, yeah, yeah. This offense has been clicking pretty well here in the first half. They've got the sizable margin. Now can they add to it here with a final drive in the second quarter? The Giants offense now. Sizable margin. Two timeouts left. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try to add to your lead. But a mistake there. Uh, I said, go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop can really hurt their momentum. Manning again here on second and ten. Caught, it's Cruz, left side. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Victor Cruz, 77 yards. And the Giants add on to their lead. Heard a coach talk. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Bullshit, got away from him, liar. Wait, they fucking punted? You're supposed to kick the field goal! He stays in the bounds, too. That's important. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. Take some more time on the clock. Back to their offense, and the chance to do that on third down. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down to nine. And they will take it off there. As the goal. I've been able to take my time off the clock in the fourth quarter of the game when you had possession. So, so I could not letting you. It's uh, not, guy, not going out of bounds in a situation like that because, again, keep the clock moving, keeps the game going, and keep takes more time off the clock. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Giants, they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14-0. And they will head home next week to take on the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for Houston, the loss might knock them out of playoff contention as they drop to 6-8. And, and they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. Jets to beat Buffalo in a big divisional play game so that'll do it for my partner charles davis and the best darn crew in the well it's that game there of the nfl on e
if we can, if they're gone the next season, we can upgrade <laughs> those positions. They'll be better anyway. Season the game of this the season the nineteen season. It's nineteen season, all right? Yeah. This game, yeah. Yeah, uh, brain much this morning, yeah. Redskins offense that would need to rise to the Redskins are right now in the wild card. But Bears have a lock on the uh but we can still uh still Washington Redskins and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. It's been perfection so far. They come in here unbeaten at 14 and 0, and just two wins away from doing something only two teams have ever done. But the most. Come on. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. Well, it's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin. The situation upcoming second quarter third down and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively six dbs in the game and a block down but not before it was i think we're running but ran and that first down Come on. Both crabs. Instead, fourth down. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. 64 was Matt Prater's record. This would top that by a yard. 
And that is no good. Bullshit, that was good. What? That was good. That was good. That was a bullshit call. And knowing him, to be disappointed with that effort. Oh my god, you changed the replay. That was on the that was through. You just lied, game. You just doubly lied. You are fucking insane. If you think I'm stupid and falling for that shit, you lied. You lied. You lied. You lied. So after the INT, it's Manning. You lied. You lied. You cut lying 18 and fucking gaining replays. I saw that go through. We all saw that go through. And you fucking nope, sorry. Pass interference. That gave him a little extra confidence there, starting as you said in a tough spot and being able to make a play on first down. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Throwing his man. Oh, we're not playing three yard. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. They're tired because I fucking need it. You lied about going to the left. I don't care if you saw the replay show that it did. You lied. You changed the replay. You could change the replay. Change the angle with a fucking time. We all saw it go through. We know it went through. You're a liar. You're a horrible liar. So look at this. Here's a field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will tie things at 17 -0. So it's not an NFL. I had the NFL where I keep this team in the line. So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a handoff here to his running back. They give him 13 yards there. Could have been ready for a run. <laughs> or thinking we were going to pass. Like, why would we pass it there? See, we're running. We've got a good runner. They give it to him right up the gut. No spinning away. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good game of 11, sets him up first and goal. I think they end the third quarter. East Rutherford. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams. As it should be tied. They're going to be playing fair. And he'll give it here to his running back. Yeah, oh, bull crap. Three yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And they'll go on the ground. Shrugs the tent. And he's going to pull this right into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Yeah. Second touchdown. Here we go now. 
now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. And again, this time to the tailback. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems yeah. to the touchdown and the two. A five. five. Makes it out of uh the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter. Out of uh, field goal. Tying it. On third down, Cousins. And that is incomplete. Going away, and that was, that was a bad pass and a big defense stop there. Great field position here for this offense following the fumble recovery. They've got it first and goal. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. So the fumble recovery, and now Manning. Pass, inter pass interference. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. Manning the throw on second down. And they will take it. That's down. Yeah. Sterling Shepard hit. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Give it to him, line up the gun. And some room to work. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in. Touchdown. Brandon Oliver. 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, four scores. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just. Yeah. Didn't even, uh. He did the sack the ball down, didn't even try to catch it. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. <laughs> Those are always fun games. They're now a win away from a perfect regular season as they move to 15 and 0. And they have a to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Washington, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to 9 and 6. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right. All right. And again, Unwar will be 16 0 for second straight season. First team ever. First time we've done it, I guess, in any games. We've done it, wasn't that pretty? Coach retiring in that one year screwed us up. Yeah, we've really done it. To play. That's fucked up.
did it with my own sound. And I got my own city that I hold down. Just admit it already. You got plans to do it, but we did it already. Got a couple DMs, I done slid in already. Got a SYD, we hit it already. Yeah, I'm a star like Moesha's. Running up the numbers like I used to. Yeah, I be sliding, I be creeping. Girls these days, they just don't know how to keep it. But I got it. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then uh, be right back. When we come back, we will begin. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll type this play with we'll, the we'll intro and everything. Play while we are out. You can't really miss anything. <laughs> but, uh, back in just a few moments. Just hold it down. Why you hating on the progress? I'm a humble, I don't even pride what I do. I just drive the man back through the projects. And still brazy, I ain't even dry shit. Hate from a distance, please don't try me. Cause we'll turn it up on anybody. I see why they don't like me. Yelling out 400, they gon' do heavy. I'm with the posse back at it. Whoa. That mean come on, I go up platinum. That mean I got a kindle with my mattress. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, the passing game will be a focus. The Cowboys are number one in forcing interceptions, and they'll be up against the Giants team that will need to avoid those turnovers. So far, the call of this week's 17 matchup. Let's send it out to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Jordan Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that. And back. Just a time to play the next key mode. The first key mode. Ah. I first cold drink. Here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. Bullshit. They had a great 
deep read there from his free. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And it's yeah. Yeah. So it's a six. This defense is going to need to come up with something extraordinary here as they're up against a first and goal at the one yard line. Yeah, that's one way to start things. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal of the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decided to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Kind of skip the moment. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop. We're gonna play to play it. On third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. From the gun on third down, Manning. He finds back and complete. And he's gonna get the first down and more. situation upcoming second quarter third down and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt now run it now out of the gun still on his feet and he gets the, gets to the first down to 11 The fire and Wendell after click the play play. Yeah. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Don't know why it keeps freaking. I'm selecting one thing and doing another thing. I don't want to not play the selecting. It's a first down. It's an eight yard. Second quarter. This defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Now a handoff here to his running back. They couldn't bring it down and all the way in the end zone for a touchdown. has been clicking pretty well here in the first half. They've got the sizable margin. Now can they add to it here with a final drive in the second quarter? And he'll give it here to his running back. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century marking yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
They're going to hurry back to the line now. And on the ground they go with a running back. And it's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And they have a break, one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Great time, Matt. So why not take one of them there? Again, that's a... Two remaining here before we get to halftime. Don't no, just no, 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 no thing. No, no, no. Look at this, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Brandon Oliver has. And they will line up now for the two point try. And he gives this time to the tailback. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend. Yeah. So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense is trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Throwing his Manning on third down. Going up top. And incomplete. Ah, damn it. Free and brings up fourth down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe, and that'll extend this lead now up to 25. So make some room next to Tom Dempsey on the... The NFL's all-time field goal distance leader... Yeah. You hear me? Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. From midfield, here's Manning. No, he did not catch it. My guy was supposed to jump and catch that ball. What are you fucking doing? It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. I got to do that jump for the ball there, too. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with four down. Of the he got, he needed one and got one. Bullshit. That'll be their third. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. That's a bullshit call. I got the second first down. That's a first down. That was a bullshit call game. You just lied again. They'll give it to him right up the gut. He juked him. Please. Give him 14 on the play. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. Fourth and one. I don't think Wild Horses could have dragged that quarterback off the field. He was motioning to go for it from the start. And sure enough, it's the ground game that gets him the first down. Manning looking to throw it. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Damn it. Fucking bullshit. 
an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Second down now after the incompletion. Manning again here on second and ten. Come on. Catch the fucking ball. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. From the gun, it's Manning. Catch the fucking ball. Incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. Manning the throw for it on four. Catch the fucking ball! What the fuck? The Giants go on four. Bullshit! Should have been caught one of those times, Alan Keating! You motherfucking Keating piece of shit. Get set to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So, how about the guy with the number one headset on the sideline as a head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it, be aggressive because I get. Uh, why waste it down there? That, that didn't make any sense. Just wasted it down. Yeah. The Giants on third down. On third down, it's Prescott. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. And now fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Before that last pass, two interceptions have already been thrown. And this last one tipped in the air, which means everyone on deep. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. A great read. The big fella. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So, kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it is what you practice for. The winning situation. Catch the fucking ball. Catch the fucking ball. Catch the fucking ball. Jump for the fucking ball! Jump for the fucking ball! In the zone, and now third down. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Beckham, the lone receiver, right. Manning now on third and goal. Jump for the fucking ball! Cut for the fucking ball! The A does not want to fucking get the ball. It just decided, nope, we're not getting the ball. Catch the fucking ball! Pass in the field! Pass fucking in the field! Pass fucking in the field! First down on him, man! You fucking cheating piece of shit! First down because of pass in the field! Sense of the dramatic there seals that game with an INT. Boy, what a big play for a guy who came out of Tennessee State really with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, he thought he'd been overlooked even going into college. He's proven everyone wrong once he got to the NFL. No, a curse. 
Fucking cheating game. Just cheating. That last three series was just cheating. Too much passive interference, too many guys on the field, too much bullshit, too much illegal fucking bullshit. That was cheating. We got a bye week because we get the for and we meet the uh, we are dolphins and the bills get death get, get the get the east you know Carolina Panthers Cardinal Panthers give me uh, Chiefs Ravens Grand Packers. Been in the playoffs in the last, the last two games, they missed the playoffs. Chiefs, Titans, we play the Packers, the Bulls, and Raiders, Panthers, and Seahawks. We're gonna take a place pack at home for once. Playoffs. Because every year, every time we've played the back is the least in <laughs> the playoffs, and we end up in Green Bay. Really. Postseason continues here on EA Sports. We're pleased. A big early third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. Give 
it to him, right up the gun. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down. Get first down and now first to goal at the seven. Play Seahawks things from the seven. Because they beat the Carolina, Kansas City, and Oakland for the AFC. So, defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level play. Ball spotted at the four, it's second and goal. And he is here. There we go, touchdown. Defense sort of finding themselves with their backs against the wall. Ball in the red zone. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. We're gonna have to run. They still run back there, so they can still run. Maybe. Second down. Here's Rogers. Oof. But it's incomplete. And here comes play number six on this drive. Egg. Just a yard there, but they do convert. Egg. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. I didn't throw it there. This is still in game. These guys are called the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers. You know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. To throw, it's man. Um, uh, um, what the fuck is going on here? A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off the drive. They had a chance to finish things off. Didn't what the done. fuck I know to play it. Throwing his man in on third down. We caught that ball game. It's supposed to be caught. What are you doing? I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's gotta be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. And he's got his man, Beckham. Touchdown. Yeah. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third and long, it's Rodgers. Out to the flag for Lansing. And stop them. 44-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be four. He's 16 yards, so it doesn't matter. Six yards. Third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Looks like the defense can press coverage here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the first down. Time to get 
back into the action. A red zone alert here. First and goal at around the eight-yard line. First and goal from the eight. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Boy, oh, shifts past him. And he's going to And he ends up touchdown. Receiver left, three to the right. From the gun on third down, man. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So the oh, holding. Coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Manning to throw on third and one. That's a short one here for Pitt to the tight end. It's a game. They were expecting that pass. Coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. Shotgun now for Manning. And this is going to be... Uh, Gambini game. ...was caused by the defense. So, think. This one's getting good now. Fourth quarter, tie game. This defense looking for a huge third down stop. They come up in an offset eye. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They give it to him right up the gun. Oh, breaks a tackle and he's got it out. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Yeah. Well, this one's getting good now. Fourth quarter, tie game. This defense looking for a huge third down stop. Play clock winding down. Manning now to throw. He's got Jones complete, and he carries this one all the way down the line. That's good. That's good. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Working from the gun, Manning. That's caught at the three. And able to break one. Two. Look how wide the line is. I mean, jeez. But a nice little game. I close to the air. Well, snow is bringing it in to get him. Manning the throw on second down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Situation. The game is tied. Late fourth quarter. This offense starting with the ball on their own side of the field. And they do have all three timeouts looking to get into field goal range. And the Giants ready to come out now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory. Ag. The field position battle is a general. Look at two, two yards in there. Now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second. I lost it yet? Come on, Blitzer. 
They'll give it to him right up the gun. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Rome still churning like a giant pinball. Room here to run. Down the numbers. There he goes. Anyway, scored too soon, I gave him time to, to tie it. It's just their first, they've got two more to use here in the final stages. Take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. And now the Packers going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Conventional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. down to two and we get a signal and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So out of the field now, Graham Gano in a big spot. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. But sometimes... Two timeouts at the defense's disposal, and it's doubtful that's going to be enough for him to get the ball back as we'll head back in for the final moments of this one. One final try now for Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Wow. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and ten. This guy knocked that ball down. Do not let... Get the ball. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. Back down. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Yes, Bartley. I could have scored there on that last play that you saw that run all the way down. It was like, crap, I shouldn't score because it's going to give him time and chance to maybe tie it. No three timeouts. I said not to go for the end zone. I was like, play it smart, and we end up winning. Next week we play Seahawks and and play Chiefs. There is winner. Was the bowl. Yeah. 
sit the last one there. Probably two teams with the two best records. Yeah, let's see. Why is that? Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Super Bowl dreams are on the line today in the conference championship where only one team can move on. It's the Seahawks going up against the Giants. The opening kick is straight ahead, so it's time to turn it over to my colleagues. Brandon Guyton. Charles Davis with the call. Gentlemen. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL. I went snail. It's done for the NFC championship game, too. It's the only reason I've done it. EA Sports. It's in the game. You're playing the Chiefs. They ain't never eaten the coach there, so... When, when they have a coach on the outside that knows us, it's a coach against us, the Eagles. to give myself a good chance of getting it, but it's a good smell.
Super Bowl on the line. Everything is on the line in today's conference championship matchup. It's the Seahawks going up against the Giants. With that, let's send you up to MetLife Stadium. It's a snowy one in the Tri-State area. There we go. fell overnight and we expect more as this game wears on should be interesting here at MetLife Stadium just outside of New York City coming up it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl and we've got a classic in store between the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Giants Hello everyone, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports, and man, it is electric in here. Dave, you're in. Sorry, Dave, but you're wrong. What the what? I'm uh, the one space out. Sorry, Dave. This offense has it in the red zone. I think I figured out so. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. Now the first carry here for Shane Green. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Smart approach there, using the run to pick up the first. That was a defensive setup they prepared for this week, knowing that keeping it on the ground was the best way to attack it. And that means also that they're able to read them pretty well. All the things they prepared for when they get to the line of scrimmage, they see it in pre snap recognition and know exactly how to attack based on their planning and preparation. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So often you hear defensive coaches talk about we need all 11 on every play in order to be a good run-stopping unit. And sometimes it starts to sound a little cliche. But did you see the free safety on that play? Knifing through and running down the ball carrier. A huge, huge play. And when you have a free safety who can run like that, you've got to turn him loose. Well, they're knocking on the door as they come to the line here on third and goal from the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? Touchdown. Giants touchdown. Brandon Oliver taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Defense thinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. On third down, Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. That's going to be short. The 35 at the 36. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're oh, going to be playing the keys to the two roll. Oh. A nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive backs now. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. And that is caught. He's down. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. 
And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get there. Winding down here in this first half as we get you back out to the action. There's a carry for Oliver. Stays on his feet. Oh, nice move. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They go again with Oliver. Who the you? Fights off another. I think the second tapper would have learned from the first. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On the run, it's Oliver. And he showed some fancy footwork on the juke, but then quickly taken down. Still a couple. Still got a couple of yards there. First as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They run. It's Oliver. Oh, nice spin. Oh, I brought that bad numbers. Our first down. First down as they bring him down at the 20. Here's timeout. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here. By the I don't think timeout's left. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining. It's working, but at the same point, it's like, okay. Don't like to know the whole time there. Yeah, three time out there. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. And on the ground they go with a running back. And able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And they'll go on the ground. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First and goal. Defense with their backs against the wall. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Ball spotted at the four. It's second and goal. Don't get in there because it saves the timeout and uh, it's all time to kick the field goal. Second to the first. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's like good kick. Everybody's off didn't waste the the uh, the timeout either. Coming up in the third quarter in this defense, hoping to turn that third down into four. You can ain't getting the five to my third down. And they'll try the ground game here with oh, the so he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Nine yards. Held alert. Let's jump back in here. First and ten at the 16. Into the red zone now. Manning. And incomplete on the D. Now he got tanned down with that ball. And cut. that's a touchdown both the game. Either your receiver gets it. Or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit yep. for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Yep, my guy got it. Why did it fall to the middle? I threw it to the fucking end. What the fuck was that? That's the fucking again. That's twice again. The game throwing it to the wrong receiver. Throwing his man on third down. I'm pushing B and it's going X. I mean, what the fuck? Go to X I'm pushing the B button. Right? What the fuck? Did that in the last game, too. Did they do that before, too? Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Uh, I don't think it's last game. They get the Cowboys. That's what it's... 
against Marine. Look at the spin. And he won't go down. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. On the run, here's Marine. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will get the lead up to 14. Let's get that down lead. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. A nickel back at it. I don't. It they even hold on.
Charles and I, we have brought our talents to South Beach, or at least in the neighborhood of South Beach. Guys, look at our peak at Super Bowl champions, the fourth championship in the LA May inning era, the sixth overall, which will put them up. Okay. I up with the Patriots and the. So, oh wow, well, they got different goals. Circumstance, all the pageantry. There's all well. I'm loving sharing this booth with you, sharing this moment, this type of a game. For all the teachers who said we'd never make it, we're here. <laughs> and we talk these last couple weeks about the build up, the anticipation. I think these guys are just ready to get out there and get this thing started. And I know that both coaching staffs have spent considerable time trying to figure out how to best bring their team up to a peak without taking them over the edge and causing a lot of issues early in the game. And you don't think much of a pregame speech is needed for this one? I think the pregame speeches were the shortest all year. If they didn't just say... At time with the Steelers all time. Now an A690. Uh, beat the uh, path twice. The following in uh, and the in game we beat the last year everyone we pass again. I'm playing the Chiefs in the ball. They'll run here with Marine. Come on. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. Yeah. The Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. And this stadium is a buzz after that one. Understand it breaks the field goal record. And you can't help but think back to Tom Dempsey. And his record stood for, what, 43 years until Matt Prater broke it? And now here's a new record. And I'm with you. I cannot believe that ball went through the post. Yeah, they had like, been long enough for, for longer. Defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Oh, look at the juke. Evades the tackler and now some space. Touchdown. Yeah. He'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get into the end zone to make it a five point. Yeah. And yeah, they're able to ground it in. They've got a really nice drive going, and now it's first and goal. Can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone? From the gun, it's Manning. Come on. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. 
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off the drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get Touchdown. Yeah. in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. An extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. Oh, he shifts past you. Oh, I ran. <laughs> They're ready for the pass that I ran the ball. They were not expecting to run there. Coming up here in the fourth quarter with a slim lead, a field goal make here means that the other side they would have to get in the end zone. They'll try to run for it with Oliver. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the end. Yeah. 18 on the play. It's Big cut down. We'll we're gonna wiggle room. In total eight plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Acting is up for touchback. Carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. Can't they got to make up for that here. It's a guard. Got three nothing. Worse than others. You got an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Second and down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Oof. It's about the catch and he's not able to get it. Third down here. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards. Oh, it's thrown out of bounds. And they're going to punt it. Wow. It's diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what it surprised me, but it's sort of good. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Back for touchback. He's looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Giants' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch, counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really getting to the end. Think to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll see, I love we'll it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. He got 29 yards that time. But defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. 
Ugh. It's a ball away and it falls incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Manning again here on second and ten. He's going to launch this thing right down the field. Damn it. Catch the ball. Come on. It's right in your hands. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Manning the throw once more. It's caught Shepard. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Manning now on first down. Catch the fucking ball. Oh, come on, you asshole. trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught again they'll throw with Manning and a third catch the fucking ball he fucking did cut the ball fuck and with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth they're not like you're cheating. They'll go for it. It's Manning. He finds back and complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5 yard line. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead. Confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt. Now for the football. It's caught. It's a <laughs> it just goes to right through the, through the wall. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable... That's lead. funny. And now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case... There's a oh, just making sure they, they, they can't come back. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. That puts it definitely out of the position. They really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own. If it gets two two point conversions on touchdown, it's the the face score of the game. A little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Time is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. My feet going to get down inbounds. And that's why all these things go out of bounds. Nope. Yep, out of bounds. Tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He called I got to punt again, though. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half works. It goes out of bounds. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look close. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They'll give it 
to him right up the gut. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Yes, it does. That's going to bring the two minute warning. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Then again, this time to the tailback. You can't bring him down. The weight room does work. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give them 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be a New York first. Well, that last one makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And some room to roam now. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Well, when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. And making those linemen work with a couple of blocks. They look good doing it there. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Say not to. So 18 points. Eight and I'm going to bother. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. And the New York football giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. We've only joined the Pittsburgh Steelers at the sixth Super Bowl championship. Back to back to Bowl, fourth in the Eli Manning era. Incredible. The accomplishment forever. <laughs> they would show the pass that the uh, cruise goes through the board, didn't they? And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports. Back to back camps, baby.
combine stats such as the 40-yard dash are now available in scouting. Check it out. You better not be the one to doubt us. Because we've been putting in the mouth.
defensive back in college, but scouts never saw that ability during the offseason. He didn't look confident catching the ball in reaction drills, and when he did, it took a second before he turned and ran downfield. He has the tools to be a good defender in this league, but he may not be the impact player people thought he would be immediately. We'll see if he can ever develop into that for this team. The Colts are now on the clock. Vikings just made their pick. Adam, what can you tell us about? A skilled running back with a nose for the end zone. His draft stock got a shot in the arm after setting a team record for single game rushing touchdowns. He's a unique mixture of speed, power, and agility, reminding some draft experts of Emmett Smith. Sources I spoke with absolutely love his linebacker mentality, refusing to go out of bounds and taking on defenders in hopes of extra yards wherever and whenever possible. He should see immediate action in the preseason and compete for the starting spot. Are now on the clock. Adam, what can you tell us about the Bengals' newest player? His pro day was a chance to separate himself from the rest of the tailbacks in this class. After running the 40 in under four and a half seconds and pushing almost 20 reps on the bench, I think he got what he wanted. Following that demonstration of physical ability, he transitioned into passing drills. One of the scouts in attendance told me he looked sharp on his routes and comfortable making catches That's away from his easy. body. Personally, I think he made a strong case for being declared an every down workhorse. Teams often have several running backs specialize in different areas of the scheme, but he's the type who can do it all. I like what he brings to this offense and look forward to seeing what he does. The Colts are now on the clock. The Giants are now on the clock. Cowboys are now on the clock. Adam Schefter has the inside scoop on Norwood. The end of the season was riddled with injuries, and that carried through until he suffered a sprain that took him out of the All-Star game in the Combine. The lack of new information on him slowly made him fall toward the back of his position's class. But his stock didn't take a total nosedive as his name cool. was He needs to relax now and fully heal up, which I'm sure the team trainers will enforce as well. The Giants are now on the clock. The Lions are now on the clock. Turn into the greatest party. Never see my baby coming. Just one thing we went up. And my number two been. Giants are now on the clock. The Chiefs.
Chiefs are now on the clock. The Giants are now on the clock.
We're back uh, after that, continuing on with Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Start episode 2 of the Clone Saga. A little worse. It'll be on Monday and uh, it was also on Tuesday. Wednesday will be on I mean, Wednesday, so it'll be show 17. Thursday, Mar Market Eat the Lex Race on the Great CQ. That'll be on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Continuing on with Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. And next Sunday will be every 2 k 17 in the afternoon. And then Mar Market Eat the Lex on Sunday night. It's with Andy Man. It's your upcoming schedule on the channel. Like, stay tuned, follow, and we got live videos coming up. Clearly, like I said, we're going to be continuing on Lego Star Wars Complete Saga this week. Also, we're going to be doing Force Unleashed 2 as part of our Voice the Universe Star Wars celebration. Um, we're also going to be doing it. We're going to be doing Rise of Dawn. Uh, that's Great Origins, Sivayasi, Adopt K18, and lots of others planned. If you in the future. Well, me thoughts on me, so when I go live, and I'll go live, first we can take it there, and I'll get the kids from Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So, you know, YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube page for all the places, past, present, and future, including our places of all the main games we played here. All the complete, all the casts up there. We put up a bunch of more up here, uh, plastic ones. Um, fortunately, not a lot of ones are broken up, which is hard to put all of them up. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you want to help the cast out, there's some ways on the world. Save you money. Yeah, we're back tonight. Uh, for market Italy. So until then, have a good one, everyone. When we do come back next time, we'll start that. When we play Man uh, next month, we'll get back to 2019 season. Yeah.